After my last video about this, a few days ago, I was thinking the last thing I want to do is continue this. I don't want to make another political video until the election season. It's irritating and it keeps getting in the way of what I want to do. Let me show you what I want to do. You know, on the 20th, you know, in two days, I want to put up another video about the moon landing. I think I want to do another one on Frank. There's some things that I haven't said yet. I have a folder of stuff I want to do. There's some uh, fitness expert on YouTube who said that you can't get below 130 pounds without restricting calories. Well, I've done that. I'd like to set the record straight about that kind of thinking. Let's see. Vegetable police, you're making a fool of yourself. You're blowing your cover. Yeah, he could run for president. Man boobs. Paranoia. Sidetracking the vegan diet. Yeah. A quick video I wanted to make having to do with animals. I shouldn't be making this video. I shouldn't have to make it. But one of my viewers, I was surprised that one of my regular viewers would question the whole point of my last video on Trump there. That was Boom Tendo. We'll see what he said. Oh, there's, yeah, I gotta make that one. And I want to talk more about my diet. My diet change. That's, that's like the main reason I have a channel. And I keep getting distracted by this. That they make it necessary. See, this is the problem with society, with humanity. Humanity keeps getting distracted by their own crap, basically. Something happened at a vegan protest. You probably didn't hear this. You're going to be shocked at the title. So many things I want to talk about, but in this video, I'm going to, I want to talk about something about 9-11 going on. I also want to talk about hope. No, not this hope. Oh, by the way, my shirt here. Yeah, I wanted to bring this up. Not much hope going on, although I've got creation. And yeah, my videos are very creative. I got a lot of ideas. And then we come over here, yeah, idea turns to process. Yep, I got a good process going on in my channel. I just got a great comment about my video making process. And then, uh, let's see what comes next. Process creates the uh, desired outcome. Yeah, that, that's where we're having a problem lately. We're not getting that. I'm not getting the desired outcome here. I'm going to try to be quick here. Oh, by the way, do you like my frame here I found? <laughs> Here's your resident. The mouth that looks like an asshole. There's all the non-white women there that he is attacking. Send her back. Oh, he didn't say that. No. Wait till you hear what he said. His uh, cult was chanting that at his hate rally yesterday. So yesterday, his audience was chanting lock. <laughs> it's the same people that said lock her up two years ago they're now chanting send her back which means deporting american citizens people who were elected to office by the public but if we even try to impeach trump here's what trump supporters are thinking an impeachment is perfectly legal the Republicans did that to a Democrat in the 90s. This shows how bad these people are. So here's today, moments ago, to go at the White House, Trump was asked about that chant at his Nazi rally. And here's what he said. And then we're going to see the clap. Short clap. This should be quick. When your supporters last night were chanting, chanting, send her back, why didn't you stop them? Why didn't you ask them to stop saying that? Well, number one, I, I think I did. I started speaking very quickly. It, it really was a loud, I disagree with it, by the way, but it was quite a chant. And uh, I felt a little bit badly about it. But I will say this, uh, I did, and I started speaking very quickly. But it started up rather rather fast, as you probably noticed. So, so you'll tell your supporters never to Well, say I, that I would say that, that I, I was not happy with it. Uh, I disagree with it. Uh, but again, I didn't say, I didn't say that they did. But I, 
disagree with. But they were echoing what you said in your first week. They need to go back. Well, I don't think if you examine it, I don't think you'll find that. But I disagree with it. All right, so that was uh, President Trump at the White House just moments ago as the backlash continues to grow against his attacks on four freshman congresswomen of color. Uh oh, but before we see what happens in his rally, we've got to go to my viewer, Boom Tendo. You know, he likes my channel and me, but he didn't get my video. Look what he says here. You are misquoting his tweets. He's defending Trump here. He said for them to go back to their broken countries, but this is their broken country. Oh, but he also questions who Trump was talking about here. Okay, he didn't name Cortez or anyone specific. That's true. There are foreign-born congresspeople who hate the U.S. <laughs> Trump hated the U.S. when he was running. Some people are saying that Trump was not singling out those four colored women. I say here, Trump wrote progressive Democrat congresswomen. Only women. And those four women have been in the news lately. Maybe you don't follow politics like I do. Congresswomen. Now, loudly telling. See, it's clear who he was talking about. That's why he didn't have to. That's what I said in a tweet, which I guess some people think is controversial. They can leave. I mean, I look at the one, I look at Omar, I don't know, I never met her. Well, these are people that, in my opinion, hate our country. But these are people, quiet, 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 quiet. These are people that if they don't like it here, they can leave. Now, Boom Tendo never did come around to saying that I was right. For some reason, some people just don't want to see it. Or see the racism. He didn't say anything racist. Yeah, well, that's sort of true. It was the attitude. He is not telling Italians to go back to their country. <laughs> Not telling Norwegians to go back. As a matter of fact, he's saying, why don't we have more Norwegians coming in? <laughs> and people can't see the racist attitude. He reflects. Okay, for those who still say that Trump wasn't singling out those four women, he was just talking in general. Well, here he is yesterday. When you see the four congresswomen, oh, isn't that lovely? <laughs> Representative. Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. But Cortez, somebody said that's not her name. It's. They said that's not her name, sir. What is. Said, no, no. This is I a waste of time. time. With three different names. We'll call her Cortez. Representative. Ilhan Omar. She looks down with contempt on the hard-working American, saying that ignorance is pervasive in many parts of this country. All the people booing are the ignorant ones. They wallow in ignorance. They want the ignorance. That, that's their mindset. And, importantly, Omar has a history of launching vicious anti-Semitic screeds. They started speaking very quickly. It, it, they started speaking very quickly. I felt a little bit badly about it. They started speaking very quickly. This administration and the people who voted for him are bringing back the worst in our country and the worst in humanity. This is a worldwide crisis, humanitarian crisis. He is ruining the world, ruining humanity and the environment, the actual physical world. This is not just about 
threats to individual members of Congress, but it is about creating a volatile environment in this country through violent rhetoric that puts anyone like Ilhan, anyone who believes in the rights of all people uh, in danger. All right, so far 36 Republican lawmakers have condemned Trump's tweet. Okay, the TV's off. I want to talk about something that's not on TV that should be. And I made a video about this a couple of weeks ago or so. John Stewart is working on trying to get funding, continued funding for the 9-11 heroes. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's the word. That word doesn't come up much. And it's amazing that he's having trouble doing this. And today was another big point where they were close to passing something and then one person stood up. This is uh, this is just amazing. Uh, and he doesn't want to fund it. And some BS about oh, fiscal responsibility. This would be such a small amount of the budget to, to save people's health. You know, they have they endured uh, chemical poisoning at, at Ground Zero. Anyway, this person is Rand Paul. He is a Republican. That's a point there, but at the same time, I want to say I don't have anything against him personally. Matter of fact, I voted for his father. 2012 election. Yep, I voted for a Republican. Ron Paul. Because I liked what he was saying. And then but his son ended up just getting worse and worse and worse. Recently, Rand Paul had his ass kicked by one of his neighbors. He was mowing the lawn, he just came over and started attacking him. And I'm starting to see why. And the other thing going on that's in the news, hope, not the kind of hope you'd have in humanity, but Hope Hicks, that's that person in Trump's administration, he says he knows all the best people, well in this case, best looking, He's got a few supermodels in his cabinet. <laughs> That's true. Look up uh, Ambassador to New Zealand. <laughs> I hope Hicks is in the news because uh, it appears she lied to Congress under oath. Not good. Go to prison for that. But a bunch of people on Twitter are just, are talking about this, and saying, "Why isn't Hope Hicks in prison or being prosecuted, arrested?" I see some people had the same thought I have. It is mostly because she is an attractive woman, along with uh, Ivanka, who has not gotten into any trouble. Yep. Rudy Giuliani was right. The liberals didn't want to hear that because it gets in the way of their, uh, you know, they align themselves with feminism and that gets in the way, but it's true. And you know, it's all about optics. It just won't look good. You know what Trump's team would do with that? Okay, thumbs up or thumbs down. Will you all now admit that it's all true? Trump is guilty of everything that we have claimed. It all just is adding up, you know. He's just a really bad person. And you know, New York knew this. Going back decades, they've always known this guy. Too afraid of him to speak out. Because he's actually dangerous. Admit this in the comments below so I can get on with my channel, my life. I have delayed so many things that people are waiting for. Many different things I want to, I want to get into my videos, make videos about.